Roller derby was always a popular spectator sport, especially in its heyday a few decades ago. But it's gaining momentum again, and now fans of the sport are strapping on wheels themselves. In the 1970s, when disco was king and polyester was a fabric of choice, roller derby was the hottest thing on wheels. So popular, Hollywood even made movies about it. But like disco, roller derby soon went the way of the eight-track tape. But now it's back, and you may be surprised to find out who's jamming their way across the roller rink. I'm a uh, business analyst for a software company. I teach eighth grade English and history. I'm a registered sales assistant at a major brokerage house. These women go by names like Lady Vengeance, I Don't Care Bear, and Bell and Sebastian. Roller Derby is rolling into cities across the country with women from all walks of life taking up the sport, not professionally, but as a fun way to work off some stress. GSR! Girls of all sizes can play roller derby, really. I mean, you can be. You know, look at us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're all very diverse. Girls of any size can play, and really they can play whatever position they, they train for. It's just a matter of putting your mind to it. The object of the game? To get as many points by passing as many of the other team's players as possible, and to block them from passing you any way you can. It's a very physical sport from day-to-day -day frustrations, just normal life activities and things that bother you, and then you come out onto the rink and not only are you you're getting your endorphins pumping, but you get to hit people. <laughs> and sometimes that feels good. The Garden State Roller Girls League is comprised of women of all ages. Advil, mineralize. One of the league's hardest hitters is a 47-year-old mother of one and owner of an animation company. There are a lot of girls who skate who were never athletes in high school or college, and they kind of find their own inner athlete. They discover that side of themselves they never knew they had. The will to hit and be hit. Part of the allure of the sport is a bit of escapist fantasy, but make no mistake, this is no leisurely skate around the roller rink. Right up to leg. I learned firsthand that it's a serious sport. You ready? Played by serious athletes who often risk serious injuries. Have you ever had a bad spell? Yes. I actually, um, a few bouts ago, I got a concussion. Ooh, it wasn't fun. It that's wasn't so serious, but it took me out of commission and kind of affected me at my job, so it wasn't pleasant. <laughs> this is so fun! Bouts like this one bring in hundreds of spectators who are just as passionate as the players. But more than the thrill of the win, there's one thing that keeps these derby girls rolling. I like the camaraderie of it. It's probably one of my favorite things about it. It's, you know, 30 some odd women who are into the same things I am and, you know, knowing that they physically have your back and stuff, like emotionally, all of that, I think it carries through for all of us. There are amateur roller derby leagues in every state with nearly 300 different teams throughout the country. So if you're interested in becoming a derby girl, chances are there's a league near you that you can look into joining, Maggie.